Mahalo. Thank you so much, Pastor Mark. And uh, thank you for coming and uh, being here on this Memorial Day weekend. And I get to continue this, this, uh, in this series on abiding in Ohana. As we stay in Pigeon, abiding is staying tight with, can you stay? Staying tight? Amen. Staying tight with family. And the only way we can do that and really stay tight and really abide in Ohana is really first, and when, when um, Pastor Mark kicked off the series, we learned about this amazing love that we can experience, right? What kind of love is that kind of love? Again? Agape. Yes, agape love, right? A, a love like no other where it's not that we love, but it's the love that we can experience from God, right? Nothing that we can earn or, um, or yeah, earn it, you know, it's God's love, period, yeah. right? And because of that love, that agape love, that agape love that we can experience from him, right, and where he loves us, period, then what we can we do, right? We can what? Love one another with that kind of love. And it's only through his power that we can experience that, right? When he loves us, then we can truly love, like you guys, right? In San Francisco City Impact, the love that comes out of your life is because you've experienced Jesus. And we talked about that in the first week. It all stems from love. That's an amazing gift we get to experience, right? And then last week, uh, Pastor Teresa did a master class Another, on another gift that we can experience and we can apply to Ohana. And this is an amazing gift because it's a gift of what? Forgiveness. forgiveness. And because of we can experience God's forgiveness for us, right? He has given us this ministry of? Recon you guys better go listen up to our message again. You guys don't forget that. Or if you missed, though, that's okay. If this is the first time you're here or tuning in online, we want to say, how's it? But all our messages can be taken in online, and you can check them out, you know? But, yes, we talked about Pastor Teresa. That was an amazing message on how we have now access to forgiving others, right? The gift because we have experienced that forgiveness from others, I mean, from God. Now we can have the power to forgive others, right? Even if they don't recognize they have wronged us, we can have the power to do that, right? right? And because of that, we have that ministry of making everyone reconciled, coming pono again with people, right? That's amazing that we can have that power and that ministry to become pono with one another. And it's only because of Jesus. Well, tonight I get to speak about another gift, another gift that will help us abide in Ohana or staying tight with Ohana. And this gift is something we go, huh? I didn't realize it's a gift. And it, I'll be talking about the gift tonight in a message entitled, Listening Like Jesus. Can you say that? Listening like Jesus. Yes, and I it's like listening. And, and this is kind of like a, a disconnect because as I'm talking about listening like Jesus, right, I'm asking you guys to listen to me, right? So it's kind of like, oh, like, wait, 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 wait. We're going to be learning about listening, and I'm going to be talking about listening, but I'm expecting you to listen <laughs> and actively listen at that, right? And ironically, just think about the classes you have taken in school. We can take speech classes, right? How many of you have taken speech classes? right? Uh, communication classes, right? Uh, writing classes, right? Debate classes, all those classes. And I'm thinking, have you taken a class on listening? <laughs> anybody? Or maybe if you in psychology, right? A class on listening, anybody? Maybe that's part of uh, a communications class, right? But I think we learn more about how to convey our ideas rather than learning how to listen. And there is so much that I could share about this. We could take a whole course about listening and what it takes to be a great active listener. I call it active and empathetic, right? Listening with empathy, listening from your heart. We can, we can take a whole course on that. But I will say this to all of you, more about being an active listener is caught 
rather than taught. It's caught rather than taught. In other words, learning, you learn from experience, from someone who is actively listening to you from their heart. It's a highly relational skill. Learn as you interact with one another. And you know, when you experience someone who gives you the gift of listening, when they listen from their heart, especially when you're going through a difficult time, a challenging time in your life, you know that that's some, such a gift because you, you are like going through something and that person can identify you with you with what you are going through without any judgment, can empathize how you're feeling, can help you process by listening to what you're going through, by asking you some questions, right? Pausing and just waiting to allow you to share. Isn't that a gift? Have you had somebody like that in your life that have listened actively with their heart in your life? Raise your hand, right? Or somebody really took the time, intention, and listened with their heart. You see, that's what we're going to be talking about. Are you guys ready to learn about this gift in this short, this short time together? Are you guys ready? Yes. Well, then we'll, we'll learn from the master himself. And who was that? Jesus. Jesus. Oh, yes. Then you guys got to listen up then. <laughs> Real good. You guys ready? Yes. Now, I think you can recognize when someone is a poor listener. Can you? Yes. You can laugh uh, when they're poor and, um, and so that's why I want you to watch this video. And as you watch this video, now, for real kind, you got to listen up real good to what's happening in this video and, and try to identify what the problem is. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not going to be in pigeon. going to be like regular English. <laughs> <laughs> but you watch them, and I'm going to have you turn to, turn to the person that you came with or somebody next to you. And you can talk story about what the problem is. You guys ready? Okay. Go watch them. Drew, I've just been feeling so blah lately, you know? I mean, I'm just thinking about the Bible and how it talks about how God was the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if that's true, then why can't I hear him speaking? I'm sorry. I'll talk louder next time. What? Well, I mean, I wasn't saying anything, but I mean, I can talk louder if that'll help you. What are you talking about? Well, I wasn't talking then, but you... Couldn't hear me, so no, I'll, I'll no, talk louder. No, I'm talking about God. Why can't I hear God speak? Oh. Are you even listening to me? Yeah, I'm totally tracking with you. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, if that's true, then maybe you can tell me. Like, what is the problem? I mean, why can't I hear him like he was talking back in the day? Well, you can. I mean, that's what the Bible's for, right? Well, yeah. I mean, the Bible is awesome. But I just feel like I'm missing something. Like, it should be deeper or something personal, you know? I don't know. I mean, I've never heard him, but let me look it up. Look it up. Just take a second. No, you don't just look it up. I mean, it doesn't no, even make it. Don't distract better. me, please. What? Don't distract me, please. Distract you? Yeah, I can't thumb type and you talking. Hey, pizza's on sale. Oh, that makes total sense. I know, because it's a weekend. No, no, what you said about distracting. Hmm? I did? Yes, maybe that's what the problem is. Okay. I mean, we never, ever, ever just stop and listen. Well... No, you can't just stop. I mean, you've got to keep on living, right? And well, that's the whole point of life yeah, is to live. Yeah, I mean, live. you have to live. But I'm just saying, like, how do we expect to hear the Lord speaking unless we actually give him time to speak, right? Yeah, give him time. Yes. Well, let me think. I don't have any time. I might be able to pencil him in next week, Thursday no, 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 or something. No, 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 no. Let's just try right now, okay? Huh? Let's just stop what we're doing and let's just listen and wait for him to speak. Okay. Okay. Okay, that was great. I gotta go do laundry. No, 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 no. You can't just do it in two seconds, okay? Well, that was time, No, right? no, no, okay, look, look, just sit down, okay? okay? And All we right. are just gonna stop and give time to God and let him speak, okay? Okay. Okay. What are you doing? Waiting for God to speak. No, you're playing on your phone. No, I'm multitasking. It's fine. Oh, okay. Can I see that? What? Oh, that's great. Okay, so hey. what we're doing here is we're stopping what yeah. we're doing and we're listening for the Lord. That's what okay? I've been doing. Yeah, so well, let's try again. Okay? You can do this. Okay. Okay.
Drew, what is your problem? What? This is taking way too long and it's not even working. If you're not going to take this seriously, I'm going to go do it somewhere else. Take what seriously? Me waiting for God to talk to me? Come on, I told you God doesn't speak anymore. <laughs> is it that God doesn't speak anymore? Or are there just more distractions yes. keeping us from hearing him? Bruh. Distractions. <laughs> I think there's more going on than that. Turn to the person next to you and share what the problem is. Go ahead, right now. <laughs> okay. I heard somebody say we are at male and female. Come on! Amen. You need prayer. Come on, go get prayer right now. Hi, Lysine. Squirrel. <laughs> what else is going on? He's distracted, yes, but what else is going on? Huh? His heart is hardened. Wow. Wow. What else? Well, it's definitely not open. He's not open. Not patient. Not patient. <laughs> Is he really thinking about her? No. Selfish bugger, yeah, him, right? And what does he want to do when the first thing she brings up that situation? He tries to do what? Try, yeah, Google, wait, yeah, yeah. She tries to fix her. Um, right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I, your problem? Let me try to fix that problem. Right? Does he identify with her situation? That, she's sincere, right? She's asking this question. Does God, does God speak? I want to figure that out, right? And instead of saying, oh, that's a good question. Wow, that's, hmm. Let's, let's think about that together. He says, well, let, 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 let me go check, right? It's like, bruh. Right? And then he gets distracted. Wow. At least he does laundry. <laughs> <laughs> he can do laundry another time, Kulpolani. Now we laugh, right? We laugh at that. But I mean, come on, right? Can't we be like that at times? A little too selfish, a little too distracted to really lean in and really hear from our heart what somebody is going through. You may think it's such like, come on, right? Does he even think God listens? Of course not, right? So of course he's already tuned out with that, that proposition. But sometimes we too can be like, somebody is bringing up a situation. And even if we go, I don't know if I agree with you, I think we owe it to be uh, loving to at least, right? Give them our heart and attention. Wouldn't you agree? Because that's important for that person. And we laugh because, you know, I can be like that too. I mean, I think I know the skill, but to apply the skill in everyday situation is another story, right? To be fully engaged, fully in present, fully giving my heart to all the people in our lives, especially those who are that in our family, right? We think we're always with them. We can always have, spend time with them. But don't you realize sometimes in the most inopportune times, right? When we're not ready, that's when somebody really wants to engage and talk with you. And that's when you, we need to be always ready to, you know, put our agenda on the side and listen. Yeah. And our Bible has much to say about someone who doesn't listen well, and I want you to read just somewhat uh, of what the Bible has to say, okay? Read it along with me. And it's, the Bible has some strong words about these kind of people. Ready, go. Fools have no interest in understanding. They only want to air their own opinions. You know people like this? It's telling you, you fool, right? Right? Next. It's stupid and embarrassing to give an answer before you listen. You know people like that? 
before the person can even finish or you finish, the person says, wait, 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 and then let me, and like, you don't even know what I'm ch- trying to say, and then you're tr- trying to fix me or say something. You know, it's like, come on, like, give up or I, let me find somebody else to talk to. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, um, oh, this is in the good and special book. You guys ready? <laughs> we'll, we'll read them. Anybody open their mouth before they hear everything, these are like they go all out for do stupid kind <laughs> stuff. And nobody going to get respect for them. Right? No more. Sorry, my, that's my language. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, this stupid guy, you know what I mean? But that's what it says. Stupid kind stuff. Yeah. And we know people like this, right? We know people like this. And they just like, oh, just speak to the hand. You know what I mean? Right? And, and um, we know, you know, we have to say, we, if we're honest, if we're honest, right, we can be like this at times, right? If we're really honest. And I, I just another one, I'll just show you. Ready, go. The wise are glad to be instructed, but babbling fools fall flat on their faces, right? The wise, and I, I want to choose to be wise. Don't you want to be wise and glad to be instructed, learn from instead of just babbling on and on. And, you know, my, my daughter, Kanoe, taught me this. She said, when you, when, you, when you talk, you should wait. I said, huh? What is that? Ask yourself, why are, am I what? Talking. I said, oh, that's good, honey girl. Why am I talking? Ooh, wait. wait. Wait, you should wait before you say anything and make yourself sound foolish, right? Wait, listen, and listen good with your heart. So thank you, honey girl. I, I should apply that. Yes. And that's why we need a master class on listening. And you see, um, we can miss it because Jesus talks about this, right? After Jesus taught the crowds. And we had this teaching before when he, Jesus talked. He, he talked to the multitude. And he, remember he talked about the seed? The, the farmer, he scatters seed in the ground. Some fall on good soil. Some fall on rocky soil. Some so he threw and then had all the, the other weeds that grew up. Right? Remember? All that? Remember all that story? And then, then he takes his boat buddies aside. Right? Who are his boat buddies? His disciples on the side. And he says this. He says this. Therefore, let's read it. Consider carefully how you listen. Consider carefully how you listen. In the Jesus book, the Good and Special book, it says you got to listen good. Listen good. I would remember my, my, my dad would say, boy, bro, you better listen good now. Okay, daddy, listen good. You know what I mean? As if I, I'm really listening good, right? But you better listen good. Right? And Jesus refers back to really what he's saying, the purpose of the, the parable, his teaching. His, you know, he says, to the people who are spiritually open, I want to reveal truth. But for the people who are spiritually close, hardened, as you said, Devin, right? He's going to um, re- um, hide the truth. He's, he only wants to reveal his truth to those who are spiritually open. And that's why um, those people are not going to learn anything if they're spiritually closed. But that's not you, right? Is that you? N- n- no, right? Tell the person next to you, that's not you. <laughs> yeah, you want to be open. <laughs> That's why we must take care of how we listen. We have to listen good. And you know, Jesus is talking about listening well to him so that we can be obedient, right? And he, then he can reveal some truth, more truth about things if he can listen good. Now, just think how, if we can listen good to Jesus and he um, tells us to do so with him, don't you think he wants us to listen good empathetically with others in our life? He's asking, if you can listen good to him now, I want you to apply that with those people around you. Listen good. 
And I could go again, talk all night about different stories where Jesus demonstrated listening good or listening carefully to the people that he engaged with. Now, was Jesus amongst many people? Yeah. Was Jesus a busy guy? Yes. But whenever you see him engaging with a person, he always gives his full attention. He always gives his full heart. And obviously he's God, but he's fully human. And we can learn from Jesus. Remember the story of him engaging with the woman from the different country, Samaria? Remember that? The woman at the well? Right? He, 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 he takes the time. And actually, in that culture, not supposed to be relating to that kind of wahine, right? But he takes the time. He sits with her, and then he starts to ask her questions. And she's sharing her heart. Pretty soon, she sh feels safe enough to share about her background, right? And, and he listens. And then because she trusts that she can be safe with him, then she's open to what Jesus has to say to her. Just think about that kind of person in your life, right? If somebody is, is distracted, not giving you, you their heart, do you want to share with them? No. But if you can show care, love, by asking them questions, empathizing with how they feel, don't you want to be open to what they have to say? Right? And that's the kind of love that we can express to one another. There are other stories. When Jesus' friend, Lazarus, right, they heard he was dying, right? Did he just tell um, Lazarus' sisters, Mary and Martha, ah, I'm going to raise them up again. That's okay. You know what I mean? I don't care you guys hurt and everything. Did he do that? He, he, what did he do? Jesus, what? Cried with them. He wept. It's like, wait, wait, Jesus, wait, what? Why did you do You knew, knew that you were going to raise him up from the dead, but... But we can learn from that. Jesus identified with them in their pain. Does that make sense? I think we can learn from that really well because I think so much of the time, right? And I'm guilty now. We listen to somebody and we're getting information and we're like, we, we're so quick to fix, right? Let me tell you what you need to do. Stop already. No need to tell me anything else. This is what you need to do. What? You never even take care of my heart. You know what I mean? Yeah, but this is what you need to do. It's like, wait. I don't feel good, you know? But Jesus was different. He identifies with people uh, in their journey and what they're going through. Now, this is an amazing situation. And I was thinking, where is the best situation I could see Jesus listening well and responding well? Now, he's on the cross, right? He's on the cross. As he's on the cross, dying for us, what is happening? Are people saying stuff to him? Yeah. Right? People are saying stuff. Does the Bible say he turned his ears off to those, those things? Did, he, did the Bible report that? He's hearing all those mocking words, right? Hey, Jesus, you the king, eh? If you the savior, if you the savior, then what? Save yourself. Save yourself. Who you think you? He hears that. You know how Jesus responds? He looks at them and he says, Father, he not look, I mean, his heart is for them. He looks to his heavenly father and says, what? Father. Forgive them. Yeah, forgive them. They don't know what they're saying. They don't know what they're doing. They, they don't really understand, right, is what he's saying. And he listens, right? He doesn't, and he responds. I mean, I'm thinking, wow. And just think in your human re interactions with people, right? Sometimes you can get into it or people you feel are like bashing you, right? Saying stuff against you, fighting with you. And wow, you feel like you're being crucified, right? And I tell you, it takes so much effort and energy 
to step back and say, Jesus, I want to be like you. I, 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 God, forgive them at the moment. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's supernatural yeah. response. And listen to me while Jesus was fully in, um, present when he engaged with those around him. Fully present. And listen to me well. Okay, listen to me well. Because we have been listened to well by Jesus, by God, right? I mean, of course. I mean, has anyone audibly heard Jesus lately? You know, that's like a special thing, right? Audibly. But we cry out to God all the time when we go through stuff, right? We cry out to God. Now, I don't think God will say, shut up already. You know what I mean? He's just going to take your, he's going to take your, he wants to hear your cries. He wants to hear what you're going through. Cry out to him. Right? Cry out to him. Just think about people crying out to you. Right? Can you just listen with your heart? How many of you want to learn and practice this amazing gift that we have been given from God? How many? Only one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> How many of you guys want to learn? Raise your hand. Okay, so we're going to learn tonight. You guys ready to learn? How for leasing good? You, you ready now? Okay, one thing to learn, another thing to apply, okay? So again, I'm talking tonight. So it's like kind of a disconnect. I like, I like you practice, but at least you're listening, right? So, okay, you guys raise your hand. Okay, so this is all good because you like learn. You see, you like learn, right? Yep. Okay, I can teach you how to learn. You guys ready? ready. Okay, L. So it's, uh, it's an acronym that's going to help you to see how you can listen better. You guys ready? How to actively listen, how to empathetically listen. So you can take, take notes. This is going to be also on the notes uh, online uh, from this message, but sometimes it helps to take notes good, right? Some of you have already looked at the notes, so you can, you can already uh, say it out loud. L stands for what? Listen good. Or listen carefully, as Jesus said in English. Right? Listen, listen carefully. And you, sometimes we have to listen beyond the words now. You, you, un, you understand what I'm saying? Listen beyond the words. Because we're not in court now. When you're in relationship, you're not taking, hey, you wouldn't say that. <laughs> and you would say them in this way. That kind of, you know what I mean? No, no. Just listen beyond the words. Does it make sense? And just because a person cannot say it well. And you know, for me, this is a, this, I got to catch myself. Because when I get into it with my wife, and I'm an English teacher, right? And she says something Grammatically incorrect. I correct her. Um, no more sheeps in the Bible. It's sheep. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Cannot help myself. But I get scolding. You would scold me too, right? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> But, 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 but listen good with your, beyond the words. Got it? Yeah. Okay, good. E stands for listen with your ears. I am, I am convinced. I am convinced God gave us two ears and one mouth. You know why? Yeah, listen double the time and you talk less. You got them. Okay. And you see this. I go on hearing aid. You see this. Because we would have conversations on dinner table and, and true, true, this is the true statement. I'm kind of distracted. And, I, and they would say something. And we go, huh? And I was, ha. Ah. I said, I'm not deaf. Oh, dad, you deaf. No, I can hear. I just said again. I was do. He said, oh. I said, okay, okay. I'm going to get one hearing aid then. Still happening today. <laughs> <laughs> I had a diving accident, okay? So that's why, I mean, just, but. It's not like I'm deaf. I just need more clarity. Or I should be more in tune. Probably that's the case, right? Huh? More hearing aid. Sometimes when some people, uh, I get that kind of digital hearing aid, I just put them like noise filter. <laughs> 
too loud, Dad. <laughs> e, not listen with your ears. Listen with, your, with what? Empathy. Yeah, empathy. So you have to empathize. Get them. Empathy means, empathy is feeling. So same feeling. You got to have that sympathy, empathy. You know, you got you to gotta feel with them. Does that make sense? Yes. Important. Not, not if somebody showing you anger, not, not to be like, bro, I feel angry with you, we'll beat him up, you know, not like that. But you just feel with the, yeah, I, I know you're feeling angry, aren't you? Right, right now, right? Right? Joining your house, like kindergartners, you gotta help them, right? You're feeling like this, you gotta give them language, right? Yeah, 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 I feel, this is, oh, you, you are, you're feeling frustrated. Yeah, 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 frustrated. That's how you teach them, right? So you empathize with them. Why are you laughing? <laughs> So we gotta do. You gotta help people, right? Go like, what are they feeling? They they are confused. So you listening, trying to figure out how. Oh, this is how you're feeling. Yeah. You're feeling lonely. You're feeling like um, betrayed, aren't you? Right? Like, yeah, betrayed. Yeah. Oh man, that sucks, right? You, come on. You listening with me? Yeah. Listen beyond the words. They're not saying they feel betrayed or feel lonely. You just kind of shame. I'm lonely, right? But you, you can say, ah, oh, got it. Lonely. Hey, you got a what? Uh, right? Just ask, ask them to, so they, and it's clarifying questions. You know, yeah. Could you tell me more about, about that? You know, how you're feeling? Just ask. Right? Good to ask questions, open ended questions. Or clarifying questions. When you said that, you know, like, do you mean this, right? That's so why R is, is like recapping acknowledge. Hold it's like, what do you mean recap and acknowledge, right? If somebody is saying something to you and everything else, they want to know that you, that they communicated. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. You listen. <laughs> okay, okay. You said a lot, but. Uh, I just want to make sure that I heard you correctly. Did you say this? Right? Sometimes we assume now. Yeah. And the person is saying, nah, 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 and then you think you take it as an attack on you. And so you attack back. Is a person not attacking you, just sharing something, and you take it as an attack, right? <laughs> and then they think you attacking them, so they attack you back, and oh, toxic already, right? <laughs> Can you understand this? Yes, yes, yes. You, you understand, right? Ah, oh, blah, 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 blah. Ah, I just sharing. Wait, we, we love each other, don't we? No! Nah, blah, 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 right? Bro, that's why. Good to acknowledge. Did you say, did you say this? Did you mean this? Oh, uh, no, no, I didn't mean that. Oh, thank you. I heard differently then, right? Yeah. It, it takes humility now, right? Okay, yeah. next one. No. No judgment. Now, this is super hard. Right? Yeah. Can you listen without judgment? Ah, that person is like he's always like he's, right? Uh, already you make judgments, right? Ah, uh, why are you laughing, Darren? That's right. <laughs> right? Ah, uh, no. I mean, it's hard not to make judgments, but if you can, just kind of like step back, yeah. right? Listen. Yeah. It's a gift you're offering that person. Right? It's a gift. Now, I can teach you this and, and talk about this in church. And you can go home and go and get a hot time, right? Yeah. Where do we learn this kind of stuff? I taught you this, but where do we practice this? Huh? Yeah, at home, around the table, in your groups. Where we turn our chairs to, toward one another and we share. Don't we? It's something you must practice. Yeah. doesn't come, oh, I can share with you this. And you can say, oh, that's all good, pasta. We got to turn our chairs to one another. We got to get good at this. We got to get good at this. Because the world is looking for this gift to be exercised. There are people in your workplaces, in your families, that need for you to give your active listening heart. Does that make sense? Yes. Waiting for all of us to be like Jesus. To take the time to listen. And you know, I tell you for sure, 
when they know that you care, right? When it's appropriate, you can share. Does it make sense? Too many times people think we got to tell them the right truth, shove the good news down their throat. You think they, do you think they're going to like listen? No. Of course not. I wouldn't care, but huh, talk to the hand. Yeah. You don't even care what I'm going through, right? Yeah. You only care about your agenda. Yeah. We got to listen. And we, I tell you, you listen and you give your heart to those around you in, church, in, in, in your workplaces, in your neighborhoods, in your families. And you're like, wow. You love me. They may not say that, they go, but I want to spend more time with you. Now, it's 624 already. Almost want to land this plane, yeah? Because I want you guys to go home and practice. <clears throat> but serious kind, you, you got to practice in, in groups. You got to practice with your families. In fact, go online. You can look at, I have some questions. <clears throat> in fact, I have this assessment. Linda, you would take the assessment, you like, like initiative, you take initiative, you go online to check out the message notes before you listen to the message, you. <laughs> so on the message notes, I have a question. I've listed a, a active listening <coughs> self-assessment. Does that make sense? You go online, you take the self-assessment, and actually just be honest, <coughs> and see how well you rate as an active listener. I did, and it's like, wow, eye-opening. Yeah, yeah? Right. Listen, uh, Linda, how, how was your score? Yeah, you don't like say yeah, yeah. I don't like put you on the spot. Yeah, right, 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 right. I can read you without even yeah. saying, right? No, no, no. It's all good. Just go. But, but yeah, let's do this. But you know what? Before we end, I want you to watch this scene. Because I was trying to look in the Bible. Because, you know, the Bible is reporting action, right? It's hard to kind of imagine Jesus sitting down because the Bible doesn't report. He listened carefully. You just see what happens. He's listening with his heart because he's crying, right? He's asking questions. That's reported. But we don't really see Jesus in action, right? I mean, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't report everything. So I was thinking, oh, I mean, the woman at a well is a good example. I thought this was an amazing example. So i like you watch this. And maybe you watched it before a couple Easter's ago, but I, <coughs> I said, got to watch this. You guys ready? Yes. Listen, or not listen, watch <laughs> the master in action. You ready? That same day had two of Jesus' guys when going small town Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They stay talk about all the stuff that went happen. So they're talking like that. And you know what? Jesus come and walk with them. But he never let them know who him. He go ask them. What do you guys stay talk about now when you walk in? They stand there and they hang their face. One of them named Cleopas, tell him. You must be the only guy inside Jerusalem that don't know all the stuff that just went happen over there. He tell. What stuff? They tell. The stuff that they went do to Jesus, the guy from Nazareth. He one guy that talked for God. What he went tell and do in front of God and all the people went show, he get power. The main priest guys and our leader guys went turn him in for market. Then they went kill him on top of one cross. We went figure. He the guy that gonna cut loose the Israel people from the power, the bad kind of stuff get over them. This one happened day before yesterday. Some wahinis that stay with us will blow our mind because they went go by the tomb this morning before the sun come up. But they never find his body inside there. They went tell us that they went see something from God had angel guys there that tell Jesus come back alive. Some of our guys went go to the tomb Everything just like the way he needs to tell, but they never see Jesus' body. Then Jesus told the two guys, You guys know think, you hard head, because you guys don't trust all the stuff the guys that went talk for God tell. They tell that the special guy God gonna send gotta suffer all this kind of stuff, and after he gonna come real awesome, eh? And then Jesus teach them everything the Bible tell about him from before time. He start with the stuff Moses went right down inside the rules, and then all the other guys that went talk for God, what they went right down. 
Then the two guys come near Emmaus, the small town. And Jesus act just like he going to go a little bit more far. But they tell him, Stay here with us, because Pohana and dark already. So he go inside the house for stay with them. Just think. Jesus could have said, Hello, guys. It's me. <laughs> and he could have told them all the things, right? Did he do that? What did he do? He allowed, did he say, like, what things, right? He asked, what things? And he's allowing them to what? Share, right? And how many miles, did you catch how many miles from Jerusalem to Emmaus? Seven miles. Here to maybe a little farther than where you live. Wait, we're not sure, right? Seven miles. He's walking with them, listening to them, right? Listening to their heart. Oh, they all bummed out, right? Our Savior went Make, he di died. Sorry, died on the cross. <laughs> Make died and everything. Else. But then he said, you hot head, right? Well, oh, oh, oh. He allowed them to talk first, right? If you, you think if they, he, Jesus said, you hot head guys. From the beginning, you think they would be open? Of course not. He allowed them seven miles, I mean, maybe five mile marker, right? He's talking. They're just listening to them. Oh, man, he's empathizing with them. Oh, yeah, that must be bum, bummers, right? And then he starts sharing. Then they were open, right? Probably open. Wow. You, and the guy was crying, right? Oh, you, you, oh, you know stuff. But are just, you're reminding us. And then so much so when he was going, oh. Latest guys are going this way. What did the guy say? No. no, 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 no. Come. We like you. Come talk story with us more. They're open. Their hearts were open. I didn't show you the whole scene, but eventually Jesus opens their eyes. Shows up. And that's just a story that happened. That's a true story. And I'm thinking, just think with me, right? We get to do that with people. Listen to their stories. Are you willing to walk and, you know, with them for a while to listen to their heart, giving them your attention and time? Or do you get distracted, you know? Are you really giving them your heart? Because when people are pouring, you listen, and maybe you talk about Jesus, and like for them, they experience Jesus showing up. I don't know about you, but I want to be that kind of person that can listen with your heart. Don't you? Can we stand as we kind of respond to the Lord right now? You know, we've been uh, ending our services uh, a little different. And I had a guy like, hey, we'll go sing some songs as we leave, right? I had a guy like, we'll go sing a benediction song, yeah. right? But tonight I thought, you know, we can sing. More better we reflect and listen to what we learn, right? I mean, I've shared, but I hope Jesus shared and spoke, right? And it would be so sad if we leave here, if we never listen good, right? It would be so sad. Jesus would be like, Oh, putting you, you waste 45, one hour of your time and you leave and you never learn nothing, right? It would be so sad. I would be sad, disappointed, not because I spoke. It would be sad for Jesus that we didn't respond like, oh God, I, I need to be more like you, Jesus. Yeah. I've experienced you. When I cry out to you, you listen to me. You don't judge me. You don't tell me stop already. You listen, and actually you speak words of affirmation. You tell me good things through your word. You remind me of who I am and what you made me for. You speak good things. You never condemn me. You never blame me. You never say, shut up or get out of my face. You never do that. Always making time for me. 
Jesus, I have experienced that from you. I want to now give that gift and learn to listen actively, Lord, by listening good, listening carefully, by e empathy empathizing with listening with my heart i need to do that lord help me to do that because you have done that with me and others have modeled that for me as well and i want to be like that person it's really like you jesus hey lord i, I want to ask lord just like how jesus modeled ask good questions so that people can share more from their heart i need to learn that and that's a skill god I'm not good at that because I want to fix things or I just want to respond or I don't know what to say. So maybe, Lord, teach me how to ask good questions. Or, Lord, I need to, Lord, acknowledge or recap or just, just empathize, really, just to, to acknowledge what they're saying so that they would know that I care and I understand where they're coming from. Lord, help me to do that because that's a, a very hard skill. But I have been with people, God, that have helped me to tell me how I'm feeling, recapping for me, and I go, wow, thank you. You understand me? God, you do. I want to help others with that too. Lord, help me never to be judgmental, Lord. You never were with me because you could have judged me and condemned me to death, but you didn't. You accepted me because you love me. So there might be somebody tuning in online or here this evening, and you, as your head is bowed, your eyes closed, and you're now talking to God, hearing from God. Would you respond to him saying, God, I, I, I want to be more like you. I want to learn this gift. Would you just say, raise your hands and that's me, God. I, I want you to pour out, Lord, your gift of listening on my life. I've learned some of that tonight, but I want to be a better listener, better lover, Lord. Would you raise your hand? And that's me. That's me. I want to learn. I want to respond to you, God. Would you open up your both hands as if saying, God, would you download that? Download that to me right now. Yes. Download that, Lord. I need to be better to those around me because they deserve your best through my life, God. And when I can experience that from you, Lord, I want to now have others experience that through me. I need that. Lord, I can't do it on my own because I fail at listening all the time. I don't want to be like the, that skit guy who's so distracted and full of himself and only thinking about fixing, fixing, fixing. God, you're the fixer. You're the restorer. You're the person that can save. And I want to be like you. So God, help me this week to reflect on this, Lord, what I've learned tonight. Help me to apply one or two or three things, Lord, this week in the relationships I have. And let it start with me. And let it now flow out to my family. And overflow to those, Lord, in my workplace and my, fa uh, my um, I don't know, other neighborhood people. I thank you so much, God, for your love and your patience with me and hearing me out in my time of need. Thank you so much. It's in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We tell you we love you. And we say, Amen. Amen. Would you give our Lord a hand? <laughs> we have gone over time a little, but I want, I want you to, before you leave, and that's why it's sometimes good to end like this, right? Because we sing the song, everything, we, we, and then we go, right? So now, several things you can do. One, you heard about this amazing, you heard, right? You heard. You listened about this amazing opportunity we all have to make a difference in San Francisco. But you may be thinking, oh, that's so far away. Yeah, huh? They need Jesus. God, please put that on your heart to say, take the next steps. $38 a month. I don't know. I, I, need, I need to ask some questions. Does that mean I, I got to pay $38 for their whole lifetime or one year, two years? All that, right? You might be thinking, good questions. Go ask. I would ask, right? And listen. What, let the Lord speak. Second thing, there are prayer people in the house, right? 
get pastors in the house, get people that in around you that can pray too. You don't have to go to a special prayer person. You get people around you you can pray with. I would say if God spoke to you somewhere tonight, don't just leave. Share with them one or two things that God spoke to you about tonight. Does that make sense? And, and it, as you share with them, you go, you know what? That's, that's Talk to God about that right now. And you pray with them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, if you just go, it's okay. I'm serious. <laughs> but I want to give you several steps that you could take. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. And tomorrow, if you know nothing for do, go meet us at Halivali Beach Park, right? Yes. Yeah. Let's go. And Moana, we're going to play kickball too, yes. right? You're going to bring them all. Kickball. We're going to have good cow, 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 cow. That's food. We're going to eat. and We're going to have fun yes. celebrating. It's like a, going to a wedding. Yes, that's right. People who are celebrating that they fo want to follow Jesus. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Until next week or until we see you later. Aloha.